Okay, we'll do part two now. From a high-speed chase to some terrible prank ideas to dangerous stunts gone horribly wrong. This is what I'll be covering on today's top 10 list. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have Mona Lisa Perez. Mona Lisa is a YouTuber who used to post makeup and fashion vlogs, but now makes videos more focused on her family and her children. On June 26th, 2017, Mona Lisa and her boyfriend Pedro Ruiz oh, set out to I make know what this an is. extremely She's the, she dangerous gets, video. Oh boy. She they kills decided him. that they would put a really thick encyclopedia on his chest, and Mona Lisa would shoot a gun at the book. Yeah. They were expecting I made a video about to be this. thick enough to stop the bullet, but unfortunately this was a grave miscalculation. The bullet ended up going straight through the book, and Pedro passed away shortly after. Mona Lisa was arrested immediately, and talk began to swirl about who was to blame. In the end, it was decided that both of them played a role in this terrible day. Mona Lisa was sentenced on December 19th, 2017, to only six months in prison after she pleaded guilty to the charges. She has since served her time and will remain on probation for the next 10 years, as well as receiving a lifetime ban from owning a firearm. She continues That's to make YouTube probably videos reasonable. Now with 42,000 subscribers, what? but tends to get about 80% dislikes on her videos. In our number nine spot today, we have... Ba yeah. Thanks to the five Gusubs, S-Doc, and the Prime, Julian. I am shocked that she's still on YouTube. I talked about that when it happened. The, this was during the real big prank fiasco, or well, fiasco, trend, where everyone was making prank content. And this was a couple that wanted YouTube views quick, so they thought, and I can't believe this, they thought the, a, a good prank was to hold an encyclopedia over his chest and shoot it with a fucking 50 caliber round. It's crazy. I don't know what the prank really was, uh, and I'm assuming the, the phrase, it's just a prank bro, didn't save him at the end. But yeah, that was a fucking wild one. Yeah, they used, uh, the handgun they used used 50 caliber ammunition. Uh, let me get the story up again. Did it go through? It absolutely blasted through the book. Uh, I, I distinctly remember that it used a 50 caliber round. It was a nutty handgun. Yep, Perez pulled the trigger on a 50 caliber Desert Eagle gun. A pistol described in... Oh, well, now it just goes into the pistol. Yeah. They really... They really fucking committed to it. Fuck, yeah. I've, I forgot about this one. That desire for YouTube views could kill you. Though you have to be really, like, really fucking dumb to think that a Harry Potter book is gonna stop a 50 caliber round. Valdrox Studio. But before I dive into this one, please don't forget to like this video because it really helps us out. Valdrox was a YouTuber who is known for his animated characters. Sleep well, Sari Chin, and thank you for the for generosity. Safe for work content and the fact that he stole a lot of his content from other artists, as well as the fact that he was apparently pretending to be a teenage girl in the beginning while he was actually a man in his 20s. On April 11th, 2019, the man behind Valdrox, named David Alejandro Pascal Argueta, was arrested after the Guatemalan police raided his home. In December of 2019, he faced trial for his atrocious Shocking. crimes and received a sentence of three years and five There's months. Chumsy. Unfortunately, there is a law that gives people who have been sentenced to less than five years the option to pay a sum of money instead of actually serving what? time. In our number eight spot today, we have okay. Jay Station. Thanks, Risa, Jay Faku. is a Canadian YouTuber hey. known for his fake prank videos. He's extremely controversial because of the type of content that he posts. He has been arrested quite a few times and has even deleted his channel in the past before starting a new one. Earlier this year, Jay decided to post a video where he claimed that his girlfriend had died. This was untrue and just an idea used to garner attention and gain sympathy subscribers. I forgot that was last Later, year. I thought that was a lot showed longer. showed up at Jay's house to arrest him after that same girlfriend had accused him of a and a with a weapon. Jay has since been released and has begun uploading on YouTube again with the same girlfriend. The pair has claimed to have reconciled their differences and let's hope that this is the end of J Station controversies. In our number seven spot, we have VJP Nair. VJ was a YouTuber who was arrested in September for posting videos that allegedly contained extremely derogatory remarks about women. Apparently prior to his arrest, he was actually attacked by a group of women activists who took his phone and laptop to hand over to the police. His channel has since become private since the, the police fuck? need to review all of its content 
content in order to conduct their investigation. There's a lot of bizarre stuff going on in this case, like his potentially false claims to be a film director as well as a teacher and a potentially fake PhD that he claims he has in clinical psychology. He is still under investigation at the moment, but okay. he is facing five years in prison if he is found guilty. In our number six spot today, we have Ahmad and Zainab Hassan. The Egyptian YouTube couple are known for their comedy videos and vlogs and quickly gained success. The pair recently welcomed their first child, who they quickly began adding to their videos. Once they began to include their daughter in the videos, people began to get upset over the fact that it really did seem like the baby didn't want to be involved. There was a video where well, the child yeah, was clearly probably. unhappy being posed for it and was crying uncontrollably while the pair just laughed and didn't really do anything to comfort the obviously upset child. There was a video that ended up That's every family channel on YouTube. when it showed Zenab with dark paint on her face, which is already upsetting and derogatory enough, but she then clearly terrifies the child who's again crying with what she has just wow. deemed as a prank. The pair has since been arrested wow. and is being investigated for Jesus. child endangerment, as well as violating Article 96 of Egyptian law, which protects children from threatening situations. They haven't been officially charged yet, but could be facing life sentences depending Whoa. on what the official charges ended up being. Holy shit! Today, what? We have Alex and Alex. Hold on, it's been six months since this video. Who are these? Who are these couple? What were their names? Life sentences? Hey, that sounds like justice to me. Fuck yeah. I was expecting like five, ten years maybe. I, I love to hear that. Well, they posted bail. No updates. Are they still posting content? <laughs> That's a shame. Hassan. The spot today uploaded prank videos. In our number five spot today, we have Alex and Alex I remember Stokes. this one. The twin YouTubers are known for their prank videos, but last year a video they uploaded has caused quite a stir for the two. Last October, they uploaded a video that was supposed to be a bank robbery prank. They called an Uber and they got in wearing black outfits and ski masks and had large duffel bags and pretended like they had just robbed a bank. The Uber driver rightfully denied to take them anywhere, and a witness thought that the boys were carjacking the Uber driver, and they called the police. Once police arrived on the scene, they approached the Uber driver with their guns drawn. This poor, unsuspecting Uber driver really didn't deserve to be caught up in all of this. Apparently, shortly after this incident, the boys they didn't stay in jail for long. At the University of California's Irvine campus, where police were called again. They were originally let off with a warning, but they have since been charged with false imprisonment as well as falsely reporting an emergency, which could see them each receiving a four-year sentence. In God, that would have been spot, great. They didn't get that. that just happened the other day. A Russian YouTuber named Stanislav Reshetnikov has been arrested and is this being one's investigated fucked. for the death of his girlfriend Valentina. On a live stream, I know Stanislav that one too. was offered 1,000 US dollars to lock Valentina outside in the freezing cold. Unfortunately, he decided to do this and things really escalated. Valentina ended up passing away due to hypothermia after being left outside. Stanislav continued the live stream even after he had discovered what happened to her and it saw him calling the paramedics, them showing up and pronouncing her dead, and then apparently continued on for another two hours after that. Yep. His YouTube account has of course Fucking been crazy. terminated for a multitude of reasons, and he remains in police custody as they finish conducting their investigation. In our number three spot, we have Pablo Benua and God, she survived. Utami. Nope. These Indonesian that wasn't the whole thing. The guy, the guy had a history on his stream of where people would donate to him and he'd like hit her, and then that guy donated a thousand, told her to lock her out, told him to lock her outside. So he did that, and she was pretty much complete. Well, not completely naked. She had brawn panties on, and he locked her outside in freezing temperatures. She died outside. He brought her inside on camera to like show off what happened on camera. Then he sets her on the couch, and he he's crying, and then he eventually calls the paramedics. They come, pronounce her dead, and then he just lets the stream continue to watch. The paramedics talk about it, and yeah, she was pregnant. Fucking crazy story. That one I remember because that was pretty fucking recent. YouTubers post interview videos with different celebrities on YouTube, but they have recently been arrested and sentenced for what one of their 2019 videos contained. In an interview with an actor, the pair asked about his ex-wife named Farouz. The actor then made derogatory comments about her and disclosed some extremely personal information to which Pablo and Ray were laughing and acting disgusted. Of course, once Farouz saw this, she was rightfully upset and filed for defamation. 
Earlier this year, Peru saw some justice carried out when her ex-husband was sentenced to two years and four months, Pablo was sentenced Whoa. to one year and eight months, and Ray was sentenced to one year and four months. This obviously wow. came as a huge relief to Farouz as she posted on Instagram after all three were sentenced about her gratitude for the decision. In our number two spot today, we have Ryan Stone. In 2014, the YouTuber Ryan Stone led police on an incredibly dangerous high-speed chase. Wait, he was a YouTuber? Over an hour, traveled over 60 miles, and critically injured a state trooper. I had Ryan no idea. Had stolen a vehicle from a gas station that had a four-year-old boy in the back seat. He ended up also stealing two other vehicles and hit a state trooper going. This is an extremely famous hour. video. We've all it seen it. Said that Ryan may have been under the influence of drugs and was struggling with addiction at the time, which may have possibly led to this erratic and dangerous behavior. But others suggest that some disrespectful remarks he has made about the situation have shown him as being unremorseful. Ryan was sentenced in 2015 to 160 Ooh. years in prison, but will likely become eligible for probation in 75 years which would make him 102 years old. In our number one spot today, we have... I know everyone's seen this video. I'll pull it up real quick just so you know who they're talking about. I had no idea he was a YouTuber. This guy is fucking crazy. It is a nuts chase. Uh, which one? I don't think... Is it this one? Yeah, because he sheds, his, he sheds his, uh, his jacket. I remember when he first got arrested, his plan was to monetize this video, monetize the police footage, Enough to pay his way out of jail. I didn't know he was a YouTuber though. Do you know how long the chase was? You're about to see the whole chase. Well, from the GTA part, he already led them on a chase and then started doing this. Oh, so she wasn't pregnant. Okay. And he got six to eight years. Six to eight years for killing her seems a little low. He'll get killed in prison. No, he won't. He's in prison right now. He's been in prison for a couple of years, I believe. I think the sentence was a couple of years ago. But I can assure you he's not having fun in prison. Oh my god. I forgot how fucking crazy it was. Jesus fucking Christ. 160 years. And to be honest, that seems kind of low. I should have just fucking slapped the 250 years on it or something. Do people not lock their doors? She unlocked her door because she thought that it was just a normal accident and they were about to exchange information, so she was getting out. That's the car with the baby, that's why she was like that? Was it? I thought it was the van that had the baby in it. Oh, and that's where she ends. His fucking plan was to do all of this and monetize the video. To buy his way out of jail. Let that sink in for a minute. There's people that fucking stupid out there. Crazy. I didn't know he was a YouTuber before that, though. That was new information in this video. Lenscap Productions. Lenscap Productions was a YouTuber who liked to review anime content. His real name is Trey Eric Sesler, and he quickly became one of the largest anime review channels. Oh, we actually just learned about this guy too. Extremely dark turn in 2012. Trey made a plan to kill 70 people at his high school. Thanks, Prime Joey, in the recent This plan poke. fortunately didn't end up being completed, but Trey did end up killing his own family. He said that he did it so that they would be spared from knowing his ultimate plan. That never Ever ended up being carried out. It is an unbelievably tragic situation that ended up giving Trey a life sentence in prison. There were a lot of people who originally thought that maybe he might even receive the death penalty since he lives in Texas where it is legal, but that did not happen. Trey has asked for his parole opportunities to be taken away because he said he doesn't trust himself outside of prison. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Yeah, we learned about Thank that so guy pretty recently. I did know that one. They small. That was wild. I didn't know the majority of people on those lists. That was surprising. I thought it'd be the obvious ones, but it wasn't. Conclusion, YouTubing makes you crazy. I bet if you looked at the stats, more people that are in jail have Twitter accounts that they're active on than YouTube accounts. But YouTube probably somewhere in there as well.